be counting down our picks for the top 10 most shocking movie endings. However, the off chance I'm wrong, things prove eventful. I need to know we can all remain calm. And I'll come to you. For this list, we'll be going over some of the most surprising resolutions in movie history. However, we'll be excluding endings that involve plot twists as those have a list of their own and that'd make it too easy. Naturally, because we'll be discussing how these films end, there will be major spoilers ahead. Number 10, Enemy. This thriller follows two seemingly identical men, Adam Bell and Anthony Clare, who become increasingly entangled in each other's lives. Maybe we're brothers. We're not, we're not brothers. So we're not brothers. While it's hard enough keeping track of who's who in the movie, the ending really throws us for a loop. After each becomes involved with the other's partner, Anthony seemingly causes the death of both Adam's girlfriend and himself. As for Adam, the end of the film finds him preparing to visit a sex club that Anthony frequents. Alan, did you plan on doing something tonight? Because I think I have to go out. But when he first checks in on Anthony's wife, Helen, he finds a giant tarantula in her place. Uh, what? Is Adam insane, hallucinating, or is the director just a big Kafka fan? Number nine, Prisoners. While we're on the subject of 2013 thriller movies directed by Denis Villeneuve and starring Jake Gyllenhaal, wait, seriously? He stays in custody until my daughter's found, right? Right? We have a 48 hour hold on that ends tomorrow unless we bring charges. We'll charge him or something. Prisoners follows a desperate father, played by Hugh Jackman, whose daughter has been abducted. On the case is Detective Loki, played by Gyllenhaal. Tell me what you're drawing. Both Keller Dover, the father, and Loki are able to discover the culprit, and Dover's children are saved, but not before Dover is trapped. I had the girls down there while the police came poking around. Should have left him down there. Just as Loki is preparing to leave, he hears Dover blowing his daughter's emergency whistle and cut to black. No after credit scene to wrap things up. That's all, folks. Sure, Loki might save Dover, but maybe he unwittingly leaves the man to starve to death. We just don't know. Number eight, Get Out. A unique horror film and provocative depiction of American race relations, Get Out has shocking moments galore. Get out. Sorry, man. Okay. Get out! The film follows a young man named Chris on a visit to the parents of his white girlfriend. Things go from uncomfortable to horrifying, however, when it's revealed that her family is transferring the minds of their aging white peers into the bodies of younger black people to extend their lives. Mental preparation is basically a psychological pre-op. Pre-op. For phase three, the transplantation. Chris manages to escape, taking out practically the whole family in the process. But just when it seems like Chris is home free, siren lights flash. While the expectation is that he'll be arrested or killed for defending himself, in a pleasant subversion of expectations, it's actually his goofy buddy Rod coming to the rescue. Shit! Chris! Number seven, Uncut Gems. Given his track record, some would argue that the most shocking thing about this Adam Sandler movie is how good it is but its ending is pretty surprising too. Sandler plays Howard Ratner, a jeweler and gambling addict who owes substantial debts to his brother-in-law, Arno. What's happening right now? I told you how things were gonna go if you didn't start to behave. The movie's conclusion sees Howard use the sale of a black opal to basketball player Kevin Garnett to bet on Garnett's performance in a game, earning him a huge payday of a million dollars. Hey, that's it, that's it! Thank you. That's it, okay? That's two prop bets done. We got that, two. However, soon after letting Arno and his bodyguards back into his store, Howard is shot by one of Arno's men who then kills his employer. Shut the f up or you'll wind up next to him, hear me? We certainly wouldn't have placed our own bets on this outcome. Number six, Carrie. When school bullies decide to pull a prank on social outcast Carrie White, the results are infamously dark. <laughs> After having pig's blood poured over her head on stage at prom, Carrie's latent psychic powers run wild. 
killing many of her classmates at the dance. <laughs> Carrie's return home is similarly gruesome, where she kills her abusive mother and proceeds to burn their house down. The film concludes with Carrie's classmate laying flowers on the side of her former house, only for a bloody hand to burst out of the ground and grab her arm. <laughs> we soon see that this is a dream, however. While this kind of ending has been frequently imitated, Carrie still does it best. Number 5. The Boy in the Striped Pajamas This historical drama follows the unlikely friendship between the son of a Nazi party member, Bruno, and a Jewish boy imprisoned in a concentration camp, Shmuel. Are you not allowed out? Why? What have you done? I'm a Jew. After Shmuel's father goes missing, Bruno tries to help his friend locate him by changing into the prison uniform that lends the movie its name and aiding in the search. Eventually, however, the boys are rounded up and told they will be entering a shower. It's all right. I think we're just waiting in here until the rain stops. Clothes off! In truth, it's a gas chamber, and both are murdered along with dozens of others. While the film is a work of historical fiction, the realistic depiction of the Holocaust is shockingly brutal and affecting. <laughs> Number 4. American History X This movie primarily follows former neo-Nazi Derek Vineyard, played by Edward Norton. I think it's typical. Typical how? Well, this country's becoming a haven for criminals, so what do you expect? You know, decent, hardworking Americans like my dad are getting rubbed out by social parasites. However, his story is told in part through the titular essay written by his brother Danny, who holds on to the racist views Derek instilled in him. By examining his brother's life, Danny's beliefs begin to change, only for he and his brother to be threatened by the local chapter of neo-Nazis. Watch it, be careful. Remember where you are. This is not some country club where well, you can waltz in and out of here sadly danny's change of heart proves to be too little too late he's shot at school by a black student he'd antagonized previously and dies in his brother's arms oh no no <laughs> given that the whole film had been building towards danny becoming a better person seeing his life cut short like this was a definite surprise number three the departed school's out Thank you, Frank. You earned it. No more pencils, no more books. A thrilling battle of wits between an undercover cop and a criminal undercover in the police, The Departed has plenty of twists and shocking moments. It's surprising enough when Billy Costigan, the undercover cop, arrests Colin Sullivan, only to be unceremoniously killed in an elevator by a third party. Did you think you were the only one he had on the inside? <laughs> but the movie's conclusion proved to be a double tap of a shocker. Sullivan is killed soon after coming home, where Sergeant Dignam, one of Constigan's handlers, is waiting for him. Okay. Just when we thought the villain would get away with everything, he got exactly what was coming to him. Number two, Inglorious Bastards. Quentin Tarantino films run on hyperviolence and great dialogue, and Inglorious Bastards transposes the director's hallmarks into a World War II setting. I must say. Damn good stuff, sir. Now, about this pickle we find ourselves in. The movie has plenty of bombshell moments throughout, from the famous bar shootout to the successful killing of Hitler. But the ending sees the despicable and crafty SS officer Hans Landa cut a deal with the Americans to be granted immunity. If I don't pick up this phone right here, you may very well get all four. And if you get all four, you end the war tonight. While making his escape with some of the remaining bastards, however, Landa finally runs out of bargaining chips when they gruesomely carve a swastika into the smug Nazi's forehead. I'm aware it ain't practical. I mean, at some point, you gotta have to take it off. So, I'm gonna give you a little something you can't take off. A disturbing moment for its brutality, this ending also hits hard because after the Fuhrer gets gunned down, we thought the movie had run out of surprises. I don't blame you. Damn good deal. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The Witch, 
quite the ritual. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. What's all this then? Get a blanket over there. Come on, back. Right back. Come on. 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 That's an offensive Come on. weapon, that is. Come on, back with him. Back. Right. Come on. All right, Sonny, that's enough. Just pack that in. Layer cake. The new king, taken down by the loser ex of his new girlfriend. I'm sorry. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Avengers Infinity War This massive crossover movie saw heroes from across the Marvel Cinematic Universe come together to stop an unprecedented threat in the form of Thanos. That is, it was. Now, reality can be whatever I want. In order to save countless lives, they seek to prevent him from acquiring the Infinity Stones, powerful artifacts that when joined would allow him to wipe out half of life in the universe. Naturally, because it's a Marvel movie, audiences were sure that good would triumph over evil. Except, it doesn't. You should have gone for the head. <laughs> Thanos wins. He snaps his fingers and half the heroes and everyone else dissolve into dust. Granted, anyone who'd read the comics wasn't surprised, but for those of us exclusively riding the MCU train, our jaws were all on the floor. Oh no. Mother. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.